Well, good morning and welcome to another edition of This Week at the Chamber. And Amy is here with us today because Wilson and Sydney and Warren are hopefully getting sunburned on the beach in Florida. We Maybe. wish them. Yeah, that, that'd nice. be great. Hey, um, we've got a busy week again um, on tomorrow at 730. We've got Eggs in Issues uh, sponsored and presented by Quadrivium, the IT cybersecurity firm uh, that's a member of our chamber. And this month's Eggs in Issues is going to feature the state of the county with Judge Robert Hathaway and all the elected leaders and Signature Bank Community Room B. So we hope you'll join us 730 tomorrow morning. Sounds great. Yeah. Also then, uh, in the afternoon on the 13th, um, that's going to be the date to be at the Boone County Library right. at 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, we're going to have a book signing featuring our very own um, Ruby Kate Chitsey has written a book, and yeah. it um, it supports all of her mission and work it that is. she does through three wishes um it's It's a great it's a great book i've read it uh i think you and i both have it's just a great book and tells a phenomenal story so Mm -hmm. come and uh, get your book personally signed by ruby gate yes yes Uh, we'll have um some copies of the book there for purchase at the event so be at the boone county library at four o'clock p.m uh tomorrow yeah yeah that'll be fun yes it will and then coming up on wednesday on the 14th we're going to have a ribbon cutting to welcome growing places counseling um so we're really looking forward to that one that's a that's a great need for most communities uh to focus on the mental health and families uh, yeah you're right additional support um and they're located next to castle graphics on main street so come out and welcome them to our community and also thursday i'm sorry wednesday the 14th is flag day so you'll get to see all the u.s flags around the boone county square so come out and enjoy that and then uh, on the 15th we've got our june finance and executive committee meetings for the chamber board Uh, busy time as we catch up and look ahead to the future so even though wilson's gone Amy and Lloyd and Addie and I will be busy this week. And, in fact, you're going to get to hear, as our guest today, uh, Wilson interviewed Clint O'Neill, who's the executive director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission last uh, week. Um, And you'll hear an excerpt of that uh, interview with Clint. So uh, sit back and enjoy. And, again... Have a great week. Yes, lots going on. Thank yeah. you. Bye. So for, for those that that don't follow economic development, you know, what do you tell people that you do for your job for Arkansas? How would you describe what your day-to-day looks like? Yeah, so that's tough. I was actually at the kitchen table the other night, and one of my kids said, Dad, I have no idea what you do. Mm-hmm. You just, what do you just go to meetings? That sounds pretty boring. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we do is so fascinating. I've been in economic development for about 15 years now. And ups and downs. I mean, there, there's challenging days for sure. But I, I love this job. I love this career field. I, I really hope that we can find a way to get more young people interested in this career field. You know, people these days, they don't want to just go to a job and make a paycheck. They want to make an impact. They want to make a difference. Mm. And what a better way to make a difference in your community and in your state than through economic development, through being a part of facilitating job creation. You know, here in America, we have this great system of capitalism so we're not running the economy pressure's off there Mm -hmm. but we get to lay the groundwork to allow business owners and executives to find success in the areas that we do business in in communities and in the state and so through favorable policy through development of infrastructure and workforce development We put in strategies that help companies be successful in Arkansas. So day-to-day, that's different every day, and I love it. Some days you're in Harrison doing a podcast, and uh, and, and other days you're you're out around the country pitching Arkansas to company executives. Uh, Some days you're just grinding it out in the office with an inbox of of a whole lot of emails. And uh, so the parts I like best are for sure getting out in Arkansas communities. Yeah, and well said about the – 
the way to have an impact too because I, I certainly didn't know about economic development when I came to this chamber three and a half years ago this was the chamber that used to do the festivals around town and was in the transition to economic development and so I, I, mean, I started at the very bottom but one of the first places I went was uh, the chamber boot camp and then Mid-South Basic which of course your team's been extremely involved in and kind of educating all of the community leaders what economic development looks like, what are some of y'all's strategic goals for Arkansas, how you're selling Arkansas when you're going out, recruiting business to come here, connecting our current businesses with the incentives, with the different resources that we're doing legislatively to help them be more successful. And so uh, just from a from a new person in economic development, you've been at 15 years, uh, me being really fresh, y'all been y'all been a good resource for me and good mentors for me. So I appreciate that. Well, thank you, thank you. It's it's the product that we have at the state level is our communities, yeah. and so we're we're here to serve our communities and to be a resource for them. Yeah. What advice would you give? I mean, we work with you day in day out, but what advice would you give communities in general on how the best way to work with you for our businesses to work with you and your team and to know what's out there? You know. What would you leave us with there? Yeah, so, you know, economic development is a combination of a data-driven business and a relationship business, and that's on both sides, with businesses and with our economic development partners. We use that term pretty loosely, partners. Anybody that wants to be a champion for business in Arkansas and wants to be in the group of economic developers in Arkansas, they're all welcome. We need more ambassadors championing the great things that are going on here, working for the betterment of our state, and so... You know, when it comes to, to relationships, it's it's call us. Call mm-hmm. any of us. You know, we, we try to make our contact information available on the website. There's a reason that I intentionally list my cell phone on my email. I mean, it, it can be found. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to talk to people. We have teams, existing business teams, business development teams, community development teams, all with a purpose of connecting with community leaders, with connecting with businesses. And so... We have a system set up where uh, don't be shy, especially, you know, those that are representing communities and, and representing organizations. Um, we don't want people to say, I don't know what goes on there. Mm-hmm. And we sure don't want people to say, oh, AADC, they're, they're, they're in Little Rock. I guess they stay in their office all day in Little Rock. Right. Uh, it's, it's the opposite. We, uh, we, we work very intentionally to be out around in communities. I think this week alone we've been in Harrison, West Memphis, Newport, Prescott, El Dorado, um, and, 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 and Fort Smith, uh, and Batesville with just, just project meetings for, from, from business development, wow. from the executive team. And so it's been a busy week, but, uh, yeah, but, no but that's, that's the way we like to do it. We like to be out, out, you know, out around the state. Yeah, super busy because I knew where you were all day yesterday, <laughs> and I know where you are going to be until at least noon today. Not to mention travel time. So, right. so y'all are y'all are very active and being very intentional and in being out of your office. That's right. And so you want to be visible. That's that's good. I appreciate that. 